the second quick video on using Excel to create graphs and analyze data. Uh, this video is on inserting a graph and selecting your data. Uh, so we've already got data up here entered into our spreadsheet. What we will do typically is click on a blank cell down here. So uh, we are free to choose what data will be plotted. Click on insert, scatter plot, and then uh, this XY scatter plot with data points only. We see doing it this way. We don't have any information up here already. Excel has not tried to guess what data we are plotting. That's good. Uh, if we had all of these data highlighted, Excel would have tried to guess what we were plotting. And it would typically try to get all of this stuff on here somehow. So we've got our data ready to plot. We just need to tell Excel what to plot. So we're in this graph. We can typically right click. Sometimes it depends where you right click. If I'm here and I right click, move, copy, those are not what I want. If I click on the that edge of the graph, oh, that usually does it for me. So we can go up here if this right clicking isn't going to work. There we go. Right click and it allows us to select data. So there's nothing in here. We're going to add a data series name for this graph. We're going to plot the potential difference versus current for this one. Um, so we'll say potential difference versus current. This is the only one in which we will type. The others will all end up selecting data. So now X series values. On the x-axis, we're going to plot the potential difference measured in volts. And on the y-axis, we're going to plot current measured in amps. So here we are, series x values. I click on this little icon. And then I highlight the numerical data for what I want to go on my x-axis. Click on that icon again. And now I'm down to the y-axis data. I click on this icon. And I go up here. I highlight this data and I click on that icon again. And then we see down here, now we've got a variety of data plotted on here. We click OK. It says you have this data series. Yes, we do. I'm OK with that. Now we have a graph plotted. We have all of our data there. We need to label our axes here and here, and we're almost set. So to label those axes, we go up to I believe it's layout and then axes and our horizontal axes. Oh, that's for numerical data. Wrong spot. Axes titles. How could we miss it? Axes titles. Primary horizontal. Put the title below the axes and that's where we can type in this x-axis data was our current and it was measured in amps. And I want to go through again, layout, axes, titles, and our primary vertical axes. All three of these will work. It's just a matter of how it formats the font. This is the most awkward. It puts the title lefty-righty across things and it gets long. It's tough to see. Vertical title is just fine. So we need to type in our axis title. We can highlight this and I will say potential difference measured in volts. That's a really large title, but we can deal with that for now. Okay, and then over here it says potential difference versus current. This legend we don't really need. We're only plotting one thing. Let's get rid of it. That takes care of it for generally plotting that data.